Good evening. Welcome to another fulfilling experience on base 6215. The sun is high in the east and the weather on the surface is precisely minus 62.5 degrees. It is highly advised all crew members stay indoors until solar storm gamma 2.5 has passed. Welcome to another fulfilling experience. Some job this is. Got me sent here a year, they said. And here I am changing burst pipes. That's enough lip, Henry. You've been sent to fulfill a duty requirement. See to it. Yes, Captain. Sorry, Mom. Pipe installed and ready to proceed to the meeting point of Corridor F2, Captain. Airlock of F2 has been sealed. You are free to proceed, Henry. Henry? Henry, you're free to proceed. Yeah, it might be a minute. Henry, what's wrong? You have 30 seconds before the airlock to F2 closes. It's an automatic system. This was covered in the safety briefing. Captain, I think there's been a breach in security. I'm afraid it's a crew member already on the register, Captain. The power cut is spreading. It's never been this severe. Henry, what are you seeing? The solar flare is interfering with our CCTV equipment. He's got a knife. Oh God, he's got a knife. Who does? Who's he? Henry? State your location. Henry, report. Henry, Henry, report. A crew member has gone rogue. I repeat, a crew member has gone rogue in section F3. Foots are spreading across the base. And ah! Henry Lombard, report. Henry Lombard, report. Solar Storm Gamma 2.5 has passed. Damage to base number 6215 critical on the surface level. Please see to it that section 10G is repaired as soon as crew members are able. Have a productive day. In the past, to look at the future. I was supposed to venture on the moon. How does that sound? You're kidding. Which moon? When you do think of the good questions, Carrie Fisher, pick a planet, any planet. Which one's your favorite? Saturn. I've always wanted to fly around the rings and look out amongst the stars. No way. You don't have to impress me anymore, you know. How am I to find that? Hold tight, where's the Saturn going to come? Oh, distress signal. It's hard to look onto the coordinates, I can't stop it. What? You promised a holiday! And that holiday would have to be postponed for a while, I'm afraid. We're being pulled directly into the ship, that's new. And what's if it's sentient? I don't like sentient technology, so it always goes wrong. You can talk what with your blue box answering distress calls across the universe? Risking your life to prove you're clever? Why? Alright, fair point. Brace yourself, it's gonna be a rough landing. Why 
behind me that's gotta leave a mark. Tell me, you're right. Never better. Where have we landed? Somewhere interesting, I hope. Some sort of solar fare is interfering with the signal. Laughs in his own school. I always wanted to pop around Europe, but I never had the chance. Did you know it's the most likely candidate for alien life in the solar system besides Earth? Huge, vast ocean blue under its surface, and the pre precise position of the sun to be to hold any number of forms. The mysteries of the deep. Doctor. I keep saying scientists will have a field day in the future. Looks like that day has finally arrived. Doctor! What do you think happened to his biologist? Some scarring on the neck. He was hit with a blunt instrument. But no. Hang on. That's impossible. According to the depths of the wound, he should have been dead for 24 hours. But? But the flesh suggests he's been dead for a thousand years. Exactly. Do a little cover up for the real killer. Strip the body and no one know. Time heals all wounds, as they say. So what? The killer strikes before whatever rips the flesh away and there's no evidence to be found? You gotta admit, they've got style. Barely thought out, that's for sure. Almost too thought out. I would call her the kill them a genius, except, well, I'm in the room. Well, I hope you two will be very happy together. Checking for traps? No secret passages. This wall is large enough to, to conceal quite a few. It took ten seconds for the, for the echo to bounce back. There's all sorts of things the killer could have hidden. Or potential places for the killer to hide. Blimey. This is sounding like a Christie murder mystery. I got a Agatha. I met her once ages ago. You'll never guess. They actually caused her disappearances. I had all the people going mad. They had trouble with the giant wasp and amnesia. All her murder mysteries came to life to haunt her. Sounds like a living nightmare having your own creations come to life to haunt you. Was she alright in the end? Ah um, well, she's British and moneyed. They carry on. The funny thing is, I've seen all sorts of ships, and usually within the first ten minutes, there's some sort of angry captain pointing a gun at me and demanding to know why I'm here. Spoke to you soon, didn't you? It would seem so. State your name, rank, and intention in the name of Article 70 of the Shadow Proclamation. Um, the Doctor? The doctor? Fun. Sorry, she's not the best with instructions. She's the doctor. I'm Carrie. We got your distress call and thought we'd check up on things. And you are? If you are to be tragically executed at gunpoint, it would be incredibly rude to not exchange at all presentaries. Captain Opal Jones of the Unit Intergalactic Investigative Forces. My team have been sent to Europa to mine minerals and resources from its heart. You are currently in an underwater base, which is being infiltrated by a murderer who seems to be after my crew members. Either that, or we're all scared of a very vicious power cut. Any questions? Are you afraid of the dark? Are you aware you've just found yourself in a very compromising position of being in the exact spot a murder occurred yesterday? How do we know you're not the killer returning to cover his tracks? No, seriously, are you afraid of the dark? Why? Because... Because sometimes the darkness really does have fangs. You're not seriously suggesting the darkness killed Henry? No, I'm showing you that the darkness killed your poor crew member. And until you do, do something about it, it's going to move on to the next, and the next, and the next. Sometimes fear really does have a basis of fact. And what exactly is there we can do about a power cut that kills? Well, not necessarily a, a power cut that kills. More like a human that strikes when the darkness comes. I think it's a tiny plant goes in the air to finish off his work. But you know what strikes me, strikes me as odd? Most of the time, people don't know who killed someone they use the term they or the killer. You said he. Who are you? I'm the doctor. I'm a family from Pat Gallifrey. I'm your best chance to get out of this base alive. Alright, you rather quiet. Sorry, I'm just still getting used to it all. Dead bodies in a submarine station isn't what I'd call a normal day out. Listen, I should have done it ages ago, but here. Anytime the adventure and mystery gets too much, you'll be able to go back to TARDIS. Something that any time ordinary life is getting too dark. And now for that full time companion with space travel benefits. Oh, and you'll be in this. There you go. Universal room. 
Call anywhere in the universe that well. You're kidding. Anywhere in the universe. Hey, that's amazing. You should see the bill. Doctor, thank you. Really, thank you. Hang on. Does this mean I can call Shakespeare? Only on weekends. That's when we go for pub quizzes. Please join us. Even amongst death, we still take dinner. Tom British, and this is... Philip, Mom. It was on maintenance call when you arrived. Just look turn up, ma'am. So, Doctor, you travel through time and space. You say you found our distress signal, but the thing is, we never sent out a distress signal. Oh, right, you got me. I got an invitation on me so I could pick up from Mysterious TM. Have any, anyone in, in the universe kind of interesting, so I thought it was a book. And you never told me about this? I didn't want to worry you more than you already were. Sorry, this carrying thing is a bit new for me. Nah. You're getting better. A few days ago, you almost let me go under the axe for wishcraft. That was a carefully engineered plan. Now that's real wet, it paid off, and the results were better than I hoped. Well, I certainly hope you have one of those plans this time, or there's little to no chance of us getting out alive. Hey, I already promised that, didn't I? Carrie, just between you and me, does she ever have a plan? With 100% confidence, no. Great. Now I see why Great Granny said you just jumped into situations without really thinking. Well, how's about we start getting out the space now? The first story time never hurt anyone. How'd you end up on the space? Oh, one at a time. Starting with Emily. Me? You seem like the least annoying one here. I was invited, just like you two. Got a letter posted through my door at midnight. That's right. Oh, they're odd, isn't it? I thought. Said I had been invited for a once in a lifetime opportunity to study in marine biology on Europa. Marine biology? Hey, that's my job too. What brand? You used to work for Sea Life London. Hmm, well, that's very strange. How do you mean, used to? I've still got the invitation. Look, from TM, same as yours. I thought for a moment perhaps I knew a TM from work. Before I, lay, before I was laid off, I missed one corporate meeting, just one, getting coffee for the boss, and the bus took a wrong turn. Next thing I knew, I was looking for a jo for whatever job would have me. I'm sorry that happened to you, Emily. You're too nice for that sort of thing. Thank you. That's very kind. Most people don't think I'm nice. They're wrong. You're dead sweet. Who want to do you in is what I'm wondering. And why? Interesting. No, not that. Worrying? That. Here, let me guess. Invitation from TN? Every detail's the same. We ain't gonna worry about this TM fella, do we? As soon as he's dead, I should think not. Did you know anyone called TM Vera? Might have done. Hard to tell them names down on the trade zone. New York's a bloomin' city, that's for sure. Some people will be there for one minute, sure they're gonna crack a living out of it. Next thing they know, they're on the streets. Trade zone? And that trade would be... Smuggler. You're a smuggler. Yeah, well, used to be. Still, hitchhiker. Like yourself, ain't bad company. Here, have you ever taken anything that you shouldn't have? Perhaps something small, discreet. Sweetheart, that's practically my job description. I wasn't always a smuggler, you know. Used to be an archaeologist. Me and my husband. And then there was a tragic accident a few years ago. I haven't heard from him since. Strange wife. No, I should go no wonder you took that invite. She means sorry. DM. Me too. He got me in my workplace. Thought it was odd. Just a trainee handing me a slip of paper. But then... Then he said I could earn full army benefits from the war. All expenses paid. The Mondasian Cybermen Wars did my head in. PTSD ever since. Philip, thank you for telling me. Yes. I fought in the time war on the front lines. The damage I saw the screams I heard, I'll never forget it. A fellow soldier then. You don't look it. But then again, one tries one's best to hide the damage. And John? Well, I don't know if you know much about the Lambert family. We have the next most influential political branch to Mr. Stolton. 
My father happened to be the head of the Republican office before the space travel ban. Well, of course I protested and made a campaign of my own. Space travel should be free for all. The need for human exploration among the stars. I take it you and your father aren't that close anymore. What makes you say that? Why would you let you come to one of the most dangerous moons in the solar system if you really cared? <sighs> Me old man had cancer. Mm, a few years ago. Younger sibling was always the favoured one after my space travel campaign stunt. He got all the attention when he was dying. He got the last of the wages. I'm just trying to make ends meet. I have the job of parliament purely by chance, but... The you, long term adventure still. Space is calling, saying, come explore, go faster, go further. Something like that. Those meetings get ever so stifling after a while. Tell me about it. But last but not least, the captain. What are you doing mining on Europa? What's the purpose of this mission? I do believe I was the only one who had direct contact with this Mr. T.M. He came to me just after my mother died. He said he had an incredible opportunity. He knew, you see. He knew that I used to head expeditions up to the Alps Mountains to hunt for rare and expensive crystals in the caves. And he knew about my accident. Seems like everyone had a burst of bad luck that brought him here. It was a stupid mistake. We ignored the weather conditions on a cave dive. There was a severe snowstorm on the way, and we went. Me and my team. I was the only one that came back. It was... It was a huge scandal. Talk of the town we were. Everyone blamed me for the accident. And then I started to blame myself. Simon's guilt happened to me too a long time ago. Yes. Doctor, you... You speak of all these things as though you've experienced them before. PTSD, survival's guilt, lost loves. Yeah, but enough about me. It's you not as important here. Doctor, are you alright? I'm terribly sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Hey, sweet, I'll tell you what. I'm going on evening patrol. Why don't you come with me? Yes, evening patrol, lovely, great idea. Doctor. Carrie, I'm fine. I tell you what, the so completely and totally fine. I'm going to give you all special assignments. Carry you with Emily in Explore Deck 7. That's where the last murder took place. Both here with me and Vera. Captain Jones, give Matt and John, and watch the figures in the living room. One of you here in one hour. Hey, sweetheart. You'll be alright. We will be in the end. One can only hope. You thought I'd come to, come to mine anyway. What's the purpose of the big space mission? Ain't you just ask Captain Jones the same question? Yeah, but I want to hear from the crew. Always important the crew's opinion. Sometimes they know more about the captain. Well, we all got an invite from TM, didn't we? Bare life, we thought. Maybe an escape from our own. We came here to mine crystals and gems. That's why Opal Jones was chosen as captain. She had experience in all. Did it worry you? What happened to our previous team? Hadn't had all of it till tonight. Well done. She ain't half bad. What sorts of chosen minerals? Anything of extreme value? Oba one does the entire mission. Some say it's top secret. You tried to get out of her, didn't you, Philip? Wouldn't budge. Only said we were here to hunt down the minerals to keep the hydraulics on Earth running. It's a new system, you see. And quite efficient. Mining minerals from the centre of the Earth to supply the Earth with the electricity we need. But it needs more power. Hydraulics. What about you, Doctor? With your words and your history. You ain't from around these parts. Not sure you're human at all. I'm sort of homeless. Something at the last word of the give up plans. It helps the same people in danger. In a bit of a dead hell, ain't you? Used to be like that I did. Took every risk I could. Didn't know when to stop. And that's when the accident happens. Vera, I think you know one of what you're telling. You want to get off the space alive, yes? I'd like to see your room. My room? What the hell's that gonna do with anything? Did you know Henry well, Emily? Hardly at all. He never spoke to us. Kept a very quiet life. God, 
It's so strange seeing him just... I know, I'm still getting used to it myself. Believe me. Any of the other crew members you're friendly with? Only Vera. She's been something like a mother to me. But with my job being on the line and all. And then she told me her story and... I just couldn't believe someone like her could be a smuggler. She was so nice and kind. Sometimes people have a way of getting what they want, I suppose, even if it's unconventional needs. She's really not that bad, I swear. She only took the job because as her husband left. Any way to make ends meet. I suppose she saw herself in me. Didn't want me going down the same path. This opportunity on the base, was there money involved? And as an incentive, perhaps? God, yeah. Mountain of gold if I ever saw one. Hundred thousand pounds to the crew members who made it back with the most treasure. Bit of a gold mine for just a smuggler. Emily, just between you and me, is there any chance someone like Bera or Opal could have been light fingered? How do you mean? Stolen something. They shouldn't have. Took something extra. I suppose. There'd be no way of us crew members telling. Only Opal would know. Sabotage. Exactly. He was murdered. The doctor was right. That means the killer's still on board. It could be anyone. Oh god, it could be anyone. A trap within a trap, a murder and a sabotage. But the wall? It looks like it was chewed open. Maybe there's something else, something we're missing. A second murderer. Something invisible, maybe. Wouldn't be entirely out of the question. As soon as they're murdered, like the doctor said, the invisible force strips away the flesh and the, and the evidence. Leave some mark in the wall and the chewed cables. Oh, very good, Emily. But there's something else, another mystery three about you. How old are you, Emily? Nineteen, miss. Younger than I look. Nineteen. That's why Vera took a mother motherly beauty you. You can't just have just lost that job because you brought a coffee to the boss late. I think... I think your boss laid you off deliberately. Stop. Please. I'm so sorry, but you have fallen pregnant from your boss. There was a problem, wasn't there? Miscarriage. Too young to have kids, they said. So I thought, what better way to start over than a mission into space? As far away as I could get. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's coming for me. He's coming for me! Shh. Calm down. Calm down. We're getting out of here. How do you know? Who is he? Emily, talk to me. I've known. I've, I've known who the killer was. I think we all do. Secretly. I've kept quiet. Vera, she, she warned me. Said he takes the weakest first. I'm not leaving without you, Emily. Don't. He's coming for me. Anyway, with what I've been through, why is life worth living anymore? Don't. Emily, I'm not leaving. And I'm telling you, go. Just go. Let me go. Don't let it be for nothing. Of the news yesterday, Vera. Look, I know this makes me look guilty right from the elf. Good, the guy you realize that. Now, what are you going to say to convince us that you're not? I'm not really registered at the base. I hacked the system. I got into Captain Jones's files at the last moment and I signed up. A secret mail, like in them spy novels. Why? Why is we on an expedition to Europa of all places? Had a sponsor, didn't we? 
for losing the letter. So the hundred thousand pounds back to the person who came back with the most minerals and hydrolac hits back to earth. Of course I see, contest for the highest bidder. Perfect bait for a smuggler. Didn't think of it that way. No, you put it, would you? Too busy taking risks, jumping into situations to think about who you're putting at risk. Look who's talking. You abandoned your poor companion back with the kid on the loose. Vera, when's the last time you were in this room? This morning. Kind of been gone more than ten hours. Why, what happened? One of my knives, my favourite, has gone missing. Darling, can you give anyone that space you'd want to steal from you? Man, I've been after this. The lost heart of Europa. All weather for this baby. I said to myself, that's the whole reason for coming. They say I can feed an entire planet for a year. That's how much it's worth. So many secrets and lies. All of you. I'm surprised I'm noticing you sticking into your past as a murder or types of the waves forever. Been ignoring these horrid, painful pasts for so long. Can all be robot to escape then? Really, only change is when you face it and you say, I've survived this. What now? What can I do now? What? And you've done it all that before, have you? Me? Do you seriously think I've been through this? I fought in a bigger war than any of you know. I had scares of children when I failed to save in my dreams. I can never see any of my family again. My home planet is gone. Maybe I can't do anything for them, but for you, I swear, I've got all here out to life. Everyone with me, don't think you're out of my sight. What is it? What the hell is going on? Just keep them and keep with me. Carrie! Doctor! Oh, thank God! Doctor! Why are you in the state spiral? What happened? Don't look. Please, don't look. Vera, don't do it. Why the hell not? Someone could be in danger. Well, they're already dead. Who screamed? No. And then there were six. Do you believe her? Do you believe the darkness has fangs? I think, when you're dealing with the Doctor, anything is possible. Every murder so far has followed the Ten Little Indians poem. It makes me nervous about which one of us is next. One got into Chancery, and then there were four. How did I leave the army, Captain? I got into the Judge's High Courts from Mr. Staunton. He was on my platoon force, he gave a high recommendation, they couldn't ignore it. Philip. Just show me what needs to be done about the CCTV footage. Don't let it be for nothing. You know, it's funny. I assumed I wouldn't be able to leave this place when I got here. It said I'd reached my final destination. Very handsome. How long since you last saw him? Before the war. He thinks I died in battle. Better than what I did do. I abandoned my troop when they needed it the most. Too much of a coward to face death. We've been together for five years, planned a ceremony when I got back from the war. But then, the invitation came. A bit of money couldn't hurt later in life, could it? Especially for a soldier like me. I'm sorry. Philip, I know about what happened with Vera, Emily told me. I've kept quiet because I didn't want you to mistrust me as your captain. Since you know that... I suppose it's time for me to say the things I never told you. I've got information on all the crew members on these things. I had to. It's in my nature to not trust people. I did extensive research on all of you before I came to the base. You did seem rather unsurprised at dinner when everyone was telling you what they'd done. Bit of a giveaway. The point is, these computers are wired up to the rest of the base. In theory, the right code could access the CCTV monitors and get the footage for the attacks. We should have done this ages ago. How many of these disks have you got? Can you get the security footage uploaded? Should be able to, yeah. See to it then, Mr. Lombard. That's an order from your captain. Yes, ma'am. Doctor, the power's going off. I need anything you've got. You can't let Philip die. I know, and I've got plans to avoid that. Hopefully. Your confidence is overwhelming. Doctor, just tell me straight, as I am the captain of the ship, I have the right to know. Can you keep him safe? Well? 
What's the answer? Captain, CCTV is going critical. Any job by the left. On it. Captain, what's happening out of there? Uh, nothing. Just, just a normal ship hallway, fine and dandy. Don't sugarcoat it. I'm an ex-soldier. Uh, fine. There's blood all over the walls, and there's some sort of bee getting closer and closer. A bumblebee star one and a number five. That's not helping, Doctor! Progress. We've got progress. Three screens have come on. Top of him in now. Hello, keep going. Doctor. It's an order to serve you. What? Let's talk this nonsense. What's nonsense? What's going on? I got power? They're blocking all screens now. <laughs> Philip's last request. Get this to the doctor or die trying. Which one of us will you sacrifice next, doctor? Right. Information from all crew members. Handedly supplied to us by a deaf man. Which is exactly where you'll be headed if you don't bloody listen to me. Doctor, calm down. Philip died. There's nothing you could do. No, there's something I could have done. I could have saved him. And you're right, now I'm using a dead man's land's information that I've got no right to use. And absolutely nothing to gain from it. Not the first time you've lost people and couldn't do anything, is it? I'm sick of losing people. I'm sick of this cruel pattern all over the universe. Wherever the doctor goes, people die. And it doesn't have to be that way. Isn't it worth it? What? Isn't it worth knowing that you taught the universe something? That the Doctor will go on to save millions of other planets because of your sacrifice? Great-grandmother told me so many stories of worlds you've saved. Maybe you can't save these people, but at least we can do something to help you. Philip wouldn't have wanted to have died in vain. I'm ordering you as captain of this base, but more importantly, as Joe Grant's great-granddaughter. Use the information and save the ones you can. And what you looking for so sudden? It can't be random. It's not the reason you're all selected to come here. There's something that links to every crew member on board. Think about it. What murder could it take the perfectly equipped crew to stop in and launch them to a base in the middle of nowhere? Good point. Actually, that is a good point. Well, we all got them letters from our mystery sponsor, didn't we? Nah, something else. He already knew that he was sending them to you. The question is, why? Why are you not? Why did he choose you? Background, giving background. Computer, such for all patterns in these people, anything and everything, show me the link. Complied. Files loading. Possible link. Different types of illness. What? Doctor? What is it? What have you found? I thought I understood what was going on, but now I think I'm wrong. Of course. Don't you see? Philip was a soldier. Look at our views. Relaxing not being me. It must be so nice not thinking all the time. We don't understand. What's Philip being a soldier gonna do of anything? Everything. What's one thing every soldier will have in common? PTSD! PTSD from horrible war flashbacks that they can't control! Oh my god. It's a countdown. The poem is picking us off one by one. Exactly. It's not random. The ship is fighting back against you. It's how your money on your rope, the captain and it got angry. Just how you want revenge. But someone took something extra and that drove it over the edge. And the ship went on a killing spree? That is elegant. See, I've been saying that the whole time. Judge told him what could have affected him. Uh, he was always complaining about back problems, I remember. Always took one Tylenol before going to bed. Chronic back pain is why he's one of the first. And what do we know about Emily? Her miscarriage. The poor thing. So young. Now let's go now. I got very flip one bard. PTSD suffer from the war. It's not just a murderer. The entire submarine station is affected with Ash and The killer knew this. He chose to strike exactly when he knew they were going to attack. Because he planted them here. He invited us to this particular station, remember? Thought it with a few chilling atmospheric things. Like ten little Indians and the Agatha Christie poem. Like ten little Indians, you were just getting me out of my wits. So that's what the ship feeds on. It feeds on fear and doubt, and you're the one you're cooking with that. 
when I was thinking of Vera's room, none of you trust each other. I should buzz that slightest out the slightest fear. Leads to murder. And the darkness strips the skeleton of all the evidence while the killer wanders off, oblivious to the rest of us because of the CCTV. I'm very glad to understand that, Vera, because I'm sorry to inform you of this. I'm next. No wonder it turns in you're a basket of emotions. And then again, it's not very really coincidence, is it? This whole case is a very crusty feel to it. Vera Claythorne, hang on a minute. She was the governess in the original, and then there were none book. Aw, oh, come on. Do you really expect me to believe that we're all characters inside a book? Of course not. That would be ridiculous. But the ship thinks you are. Doctor. It does. It actually does. Philip and Bart, he's another character. And John? Oh. John Claythorne. What the hell do you think you're insinuating? I think you knew. I think you've known since the start. I mean, so we all knew. You knew Vera could be sent on this mission, John, and you decided to get revenge. What do you mean, revenge? Why the hell would John want revenge? Captain, you said everyone went through every background check known to man. That's right. And the ship missed a person. Oh, this is poppycock. Is it? Because if I recall correctly, your file isn't showing up in Phil's folders. And he was so paranoid that he researched everyone. I think I just found the missing link. Everyone? I think he's being reintroduced. This is John Wan, Vera's husband. John? Is this true? My John? It was such a good disguise, even the ship wasn't fooled. But you might need to fool the ship, would you? Because you were the one that invited everyone here. You sent the invitations. You created the base. You killed Emily, Philip, Henry, and Judge Thornton. John, why would you kill all these people? I don't understand it. You're not evil. Am I not? You followed Vera out here after she arrived on Earth. You were angry and wanted revenge. I've always said love is a more dangerous motive than it is a positive thing to be celebrated. Thank you for the final proof. What the hell are you doing? That pain, grief, and trauma. Well, this horrible, tiny, huge thing that's gonna turn you into a thief. Now, they're mine. Doctor, you're being a bloody idiot! This is a trap! Oh yes, and I'm setting it. They wanted a red herring, and I admit, the doctor is in. Congratulations, you figured it out. Didn't think you'd be stupid enough to come down here alone. Whatever keeps more people safe. You thought you, you knew my methods? Think again. I want to know why. Why you killed all these innocent people and taken them to an isolated moon? Why? Why the fuck not? I had nothing left on Earth. My wife left me. My life was a complete shambles. Everything, everything I'd worked for. My career, my job, my family. All of it snapped out from under me. How would you cope in that situation? Brought me here. And now, I'm going to stop you before you hurt any more people. <laughs> oh, 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 that's, that's rich. <laughs> oh, so we're like you and me, are we? You understand all of my sob story? Well, let's hold hands and talk around the campfire. Get a grip. You will never understand. My child's life ended before it even began. Vera coveted that doll Emily for a reason, and chose her so Vera could get a taste of her own medicine. And the others? My uncle Philip and Henry. You were saying it this whole time, weren't you? It's a very Christy tale. I will admit, perhaps I've dabbled in the criminal world too much. It almost caught up to me, but Judge Stanton let me go in court. <sighs> With a year in jail that allowed my wife to escape. When I got out, I thought I could make do. Maybe find a nice archaeology job. So I signed with Unix, and they gave me the mission to find the caves of Andrazani with Captain Uncle Jones. You were part of a team to that had died. And they did. All except me. 
she didn't need to go back, you see. To it shamed what she done. I were left with zero prospects, no wife, no family. But I did know one thing. I knew where she was going next. This space. So I rigged it. And I invited the people here so they could pay for their crimes. And you're the priest, are you? Do I think us to feel like we're going to mourn and die? Tell me, does it make you feel like a god? We did charge of the station show, did I tell you? Oh, the looks of terror on your little faces every time the lights went out. Scrambling to find who'd be next. I was in complete control the entire time. Never once suspected by any of you. I didn't like him to start, but I couldn't tell why. One thing I don't understand is, why would you disguise yourself as TM? TM? Oh no, TM isn't me. Uh, TM is another person. Uh, he was most looking forward to meeting you. Uh, he sponsored me to come on this trip and bringing everyone here in hopes that you would come along. And now you have. Now, I can complete his work. Take the great doctor out with her worst fears all around her. No hope, no survivors. Do you want to know who this blood is? Or should I guess it's the mysterious judge taunting? Never stopping with the deductions. Your regular homes. One last chance. Part the killings, his murders. Pull them up and then won't turn you into the shadow proclamation. Because that's where men make you go when the animal inside says to take over the human nature. But there's no other you to turn except the darkness where it creeps over you. Now, that is interesting. If I recall, Mr. TM told me many stories about the doctor. About how you let your ace burn in the war and then fled across the universe like a coward. Are we really very different at all? I take these people, Doctor. These people dealing with sins, drowning in them, and I let them earn peace. Peace isn't a profit. Peace and help are natural human rights. You can't take that away from anyone, no matter how hard you try. Even if you find yourself the worst your life has ever been, hiding with rats in the gutter. I gave you the wrong warning. I should have told her to run as fast as she could from the monster. From you. Because you can't keep going on like this while I still got something to say about it. Trust me, I've been there. Just trying a million hearts was not to your one's own. Flood barrier lowered. Flood barrier lowered. What have you done? What the hell have you done? Draining the base of its power. You said you didn't want any more murders, didn't you? All hail the doctor! The great exterminator! If this base blows, it takes you all out of it. When I die, at least I can take you with me. You're making a huge mistake, John. The more and more money you commit, the more and more damage your soul becomes. Trust me, I know. Please, don't become like me. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. Even rambling until death. How telling of your character. Not rambling, really. Just distracting. What? Doctor! Oi! John Claythorne! That's... That's the diamond! You've had it the whole time? Let her go. Let her go and you can have it. You can have the diamond. Just please do as she says. No more murders. I trust the doctor. I trust that we'll all get out alive. Only if you let her. Vera gave me this diamond for insurance because she knew you were after it and it may be the cause of your surrender. What do you say? Do we have a deal? You left me alone to die. You left me and a hundred other men to die in the cold, dark cave. How do you think my forgiveness is feeling right now? Then I'm very sorry about this. Doctor, tell my grandmother what happened to me and how I saved the rest of humanity from monsters like him.
and then then we're done. So, where will you go now, Doctor? Oh, you know, all ones not buds. Captain Jones was right. I can't save everyone, but maybe I can supply enough hope in someone to try. Why is many talking about me there? Can you take me back home to New York? I'm gonna make a new life for myself. No more stealing crooks. I'm gonna take a nice house and settle down. Find a better fella. Vera, as much as it hurts to have you two love to take advantage of you, I promise there's always something for someone else. Yeah? Not so bad yourself. I think you're too hard on what you've become. I think you hate yourself too much. If you can't move on from the past, it's like what you were saying. How the hell do we find the future? Vera, I think you deserve this. Keep it, it'll come in handy. A lottery ticket? Next thing you'll be saying you can draw the lotto numbers. Play it when there's a triple roll over next month. You never know, I get lucky. New York next stop. Glad you have Carrie here. I tell you, I thought you might end up like Johnny if you didn't have someone like her. Got the repercussions of revenge that he always wanted in the end, didn't he? Yes. Yes, I suppose we all did. Look after yourself, Vera. And you. Look after her. You alright? It's alright if you're not alright. I know that was a lot for you. I'm always alright. It's just... This still doesn't make any sense. How did all those people get there if the data was encrypted into the ship? And just how did the manage to hack into everything? How did John know where to find everyone? And most importantly, what was it they were mining? I guess not everything can be explained. Yeah. The universe is never so organized as everyone would like to believe. What was the name of that ship? Maybe that'll tell us everything. Just... got lucky, I suppose. Yeah, maybe. This is Day 72 on board the Christie. Thank you for joining us on the mission. You have reached your final destination.